Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's your fellow uh, Ready to Robot connoisseur pal Oz here today and we are going to be reviewing uh, the Ready to Robot Survivor Battle Pack. Now let's take a closer look at this thing. So it comes with a robot, I think that's hardware or hardwire actually. I think the names are at the back, hardware, hardware. So uh, we've got a uh, hardware there, some sort of back accessory, looks like it shoots rockets of some sort, and then a mystery figure. Let's just read what else it says. So uh, thousands of ways to mix and match. Exclusive mystery figure, so that's cool, it's exclusive. It's not one you can find in the normal kind of mystery packs, which is awesome. And uh, one set, ensemble, nothing new there. Now let's check out the guys you can get in these packs. So, so you can get Mongo, Helmet Head, Tank, Brain Strain, that's that, he looks cool. Uh, Coach, Hardware, and Thermo. He's like a Dr. Free or Mr. Freeze version. Uh, no other useful information on the back here. So let's just jump into it and uh, open it up. And I need my knife, where's my knife? Here it is. Okay, so first up, we're gonna cut it nicely because, I don't know, we might, might don't like accidentally cut something we shouldn't be cutting. There we go, now. Let's pull open just one side. And see, oh, I missed so much tape. Oh, there we go. Now, can we just slide it out? There we have it. Okay, so most of that box was just <laughs> empty box, and that's all we wanted. So that's, look at that, big box. That's all we got. So all of that top part was empty. That's kind of weird. It was, it's like totally unnecessary box. Now get rid of that. And so this is all we have. Again, it's weird. They usually try to make boxes as small and compact as possible, but not this time. Let's get hardware out. It's kind of stuck into place. If we use our big muscles, <laughs> we can break them. The elastic didn't break, he broke. And get this bit out. Okay, and then the backpack. Looking good. And then last thing is this mystery box. So let's just move all that junk out of the way, see what we got. Hardware's got some elastic on them. We'll just take that off. Hopefully without breaking him any further. Uh, he's got some plastic holding him in place. Let's get that out. There he, oh, there he goes. One thing I don't like about these ready to robot toys is just how easy their arms and legs come off. Like it's kind of good in some ways, but it's a pain in the butt in some other ways too. Okay, I've lost his leg. Where is it? Now let's take a closer look at these guys. And then I've decided what we'll do at the end of this. We'll have hardware battle whoever's going to be inside this mystery pack. The exclusive guy. So um, we'll have him fighting him. And an old fashioned kind of ready to robot battle. Now um, let's go through who, what we got. So we've got this backpack here. We'll take a closer look. That's looking pretty awesome. Now you've the missiles. You push in, and I, at first I was a little bit too scared to kind of push these missiles in all the way, so I was kind of just doing it like that. And I was like, oh, why isn't it shooting? Oh, it's broken. But really, you got to push it all the way in, as far as it will go. And then you feel it click, and then we'll shoot one of the guys in the background. Oh, there you go. Then it works really well. So, um, yeah, so you got to push it all the way in. Sometimes it doesn't feel right, but you got to push it all the way in. And I've lost a missile. There we go. It was under venom. There we are. So we'll put that there, and that will fit on the back of any guy, but not just the back, but any kind of slot they have. So it's on his back there. But if we pulled off Hardware's arm, you could replace his arm with an awesome big rocket, which is cool. You could give him a little rocket for legs, whatever you like. Or if you got like two of these, you could replace his uh, shoulder kind of weapons with two awesome huge rockets so that makes that really cool suddenly um, okay anyway now let's check out hardware so he's got cool kind of like rocket launcher hands by the looks of things he's got good movement he's not falling apart too much some guys like if you even just move them like their legs come out it makes it really hard to do stop motion believe me but um, this guy's got all his little parts are in pretty well 
And if we get the pilot out, there he is. He looks kind of cool, like Mega Man or I don't know, some kind of cool armor. Now, finally, let's uh, get this guy out of the box. Give it a spin around, so just like all the other ones. Actually, where's another one? We'll compare. So, uh, that's exactly the same. Spinning them around. Just different uh, picture. Ah, oh, yeah. But this one has all this barcode instructions there. This one doesn't. There we go. That's the main difference. And cooler picture. Now, we'll cut down the slime just like usual. Ah! Now, I have no idea who we get. Like, I was kind of getting a little bit grumpy with Ready to Robot because I was always getting the same kind of five or six guys. I even said I was going to stop making Ready to Robot videos because I was just having too much bad luck opening them. But, uh, thankfully, this way, I must get someone new. Okay, I'm using my knife. It's taking too long. Pew! Now we can see that it's a grey container here. There's lots of different colours containers, so that kind of will give you a clue who's going to be in it. Like, yeah, there's grey, black, gold. I think there's like a bronzy coloured one. There's a lot, but anyway, let's let's keep moving. Where's the front? There we go. Okay, so we'll pull off section one first. And let's start opening them up. Oh, I made a mess of these guys. Far out. Uh, okay, now this one feels like the body. It is... Whoa! Definitely a new guy. Got some cool colors to him. Looking good. Put it like that. Now we got... This feels like a arm, maybe? Pretty big. Okay, an arm, we'll stick that straight on. There we go. And now we got another green one, wasn't there? Three? No, okay. We'll find out later if I'm missing an arm that I've lost something. Okay, now section number two. Okay, another two pieces. Okay, this is a cool kind of robot tank tread leg. Okay, looking nice. This will probably be the other leg, yep. Okay, looking cool, all right. And now, let's keep going. We got uh, section number three and then the pilot. Okay. So, we still got to do the shoulder parts and one arm. So this looks like, oh, I'm going to guess it's his arm. We'll leave it there until we find out what else we got. Okay, so this is definitely a shoulder, some sort of shoulder rocket. Which way would it go? I'm going to do it. that's right. Nope, I changed my mind. I'm going to do it like that. I can't tell if that's the front or the back. Oh well. We'll um, be able to find them in a the picture and they'll be able to confirm which way that <laughs> rocket should be facing. You'd not want to stand behind them just in case I was wrong. Okay, so two shoulder rockets and then that confirms that this was the arm. Um, so let's see what he looks like now, looking cool. This is back. Oh yeah, that kind of suits, matches everything else. I'm thinking more and more that we've got it right. Now I'll put him here. And now, pilot time. So I push on this, and then that will snap off at some stage and shoot out the slime with the pilot in it. So we'll shoot it uh, just at one of these guys in the background. Uh, hold on. Over there. Okay, three. Two, one. Whoa, that was pretty good. That was all right. Some of them, like one of my first ones, like it shot so hard that it hit the background and then bounced off, like way off into the distance. <laughs> this is a small room, so the distance for me isn't that far away, but it, it bounced quite far. Now, like kind of like behind me, over my head, which is, which is far. 
Okay, now let's get the slime out. We'll try to get him into the pilot seat. Make it higher so you can see. Okay, is he gonna make it? Push the pilot back a little bit. There we are. Someone with blue hair, so it looks like his clothes matches his robot. Some slime, drop him off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to help the slime along here. Ah, oh, did you hear that? These sounds it makes is gross. Okay, so he didn't land on his feet, but let's check out who the pilot is. Let's peel away the slime. Oh, he looks a bit like Stash. Maybe um, Stash's weird brother. Ah. Okay, let's get rid of the slime. Hold on. It's nice and clean, the slime. That's one thing I like about this is the slime. I say this almost every time, but some slimes can make a big mess. And some slimes are quite tidy. And this is definitely one of the easier to use slimes where it doesn't kind of destroy everything around you with slime okay there we go so we'll put him there we'll put the pilot in and yeah he looks a lot like stash let me grab stash for you oh, i've just totally broken but there <laughs> so maybe the same model but just different paint job yeah, he's even got the necklace yeah i'd say that's what's happened but still very cool, okay. So now, what we're gonna do is uh, this, oh wait, we gotta find out who he is as well. We can't just ignore that important fact. We gotta find out what his name is. Now I don't think, here it is. I was gonna say, I didn't think I had the instructions, but we do. So, let's have a look. We got, so those are the spear guys, okay. Um, just trying to work out which set this would be. Oh, yeah, there's the hardware set. Okay, I think that guy's name is Survivor, maybe? Because there's hardware, there's that rocket pack thingy there, and then it says Survivor, but it doesn't let you see what he looks like. So I'm guessing that is Survivor. So the other guys you can get are some do good tag team, double trouble, or beat down. So, but this time we got Survivor. So we're gonna have Survivor battle against hardware and see who is the biggest winner. So uh, we'll uh, clean up this arena and we'll make it happen. So uh, let's go. Now here we are and the arena is all set up. So let's battle. Uh, don't blink because you might miss this battle. I'm gonna take care of them quickly with my missiles. Let's end this. Huh, easy. Uh, what? He shot my missile so easily. What am I gonna do now? Ah, my little shoulder claw things. Okay, I can recover. I just gotta distract him for a little bit. Okay, uh, ah, oh, man, this is heavy. There, now he's in for it. Hey, no, you're too close to shoot that. No! Oh. Wow, this thing packs a punch, but it's too heavy to keep using. Hey, he left his arm there. Yes, I got it. Now let me show you the right way to use a laser. Okay, now just shine it up over there. There we go. Hey, what are you doing? Come on, kitty. You can see it. You can see it. How are you controlling it? It's a cat. No, oh, it's got me. No. Wow, now, okay, there you have it. So hardware is the winner, yay! <laughs> and if you like that video, of course, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button so then I know to make more of them. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, if you do like this video, then I'll leave some thumbnails at the end of more Ready to Robot battles you can go to. Or I could take you straight to the playlist. Also, there's a playlist for blind bag battles, which is very similar to this one, but it has uh, lots of superheroes fighting as well as other toys. And it's just kind of like a big old rumble with like two main superheroes, but then lots of little Ushis and Lego guys all fighting together. Uh, and then also there's treasure hunts, which kind of have superheroes kind of fighting other superheroes to find blind bags. So uh, I'll let you check that one out too. But in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great week. Take care of yourself, and I will catch you next time. Whee!